I'm sure I'm going to regret doing this now, but I'm going to do it now and see how it goes. So uh, let's uh, let's do it, I guess. The Great Battle marches on. Wait, the following screen allows you to use the statues that have been collected through the game to buy reinforcements. These reinforcements can then be called upon during the Great Battle. Oh, that's really interesting. Oh, wow. Okay. What is this? Okay. One Phoenix Strike. Oh, wow. Okay. One Centaur Charge. Three of those and six of those. Yeah? <laughs> I don't know what's good. I don't know. Like, I have. I mean, I. I'm, presumably, the more expensive ones are better. But I don't know in the long run if, say, getting three of those is better than getting one because I might need multiple charges at different points. I, I, I genuinely have no idea. So, very intriguing. Oh, <laughs> it does look bad at points. The whole family's together. Okay. Let's, uh... Okay, so I can... I can use that now, or... Okay, but I... Right, I see. I don't know if I want to use them now. Like, I don't know what the... God, there's a lot of them. This is actually really cool in the background. Um, yeah, like, I don't... I understand the point of this, but I don't know what the metric is for, like, when I want to... Like, I don't know if it's going to attack what I'm standing on or if it's going to attack the background. I'm not 100% sure on that yet. And now that we've got Lucy, I can heal at any point. So, that's pretty good. That's gonna certainly turn the tide. I didn't mean to do that. Well, I've used an Eagle Strike, so let's find out. Okay. Yeah, that is more or less what I... Wow, that's very powerful. Okay, that's annoying because I didn't want to use that. I think I had three of them, right? What the hell's the Phoenix Strike gonna do? I was just trying to do my, like, mega move, and it uh, did not work uh, because I unfortunately activated them at the wrong time. Um, so, what do we unlock? Triple tipple. Uh, increase the amount of health that the fire flower quarter was. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. I was just a cast protective shield. I'm never gonna do that. I will do that though. That seems like a good idea. Um, did Edmund get some stuff? Uh, shield shower, Ogre Bane. Uh, Susan, did you get anything? You did not. And yeah, it's just stuff I'm never gonna use. Okay, cool. Let's go. But yeah, in trying to do like the lion thing, because to, to do lion's claw, you need to do circle square X. And the game sometimes thinks, oh, it wants to activate the army. Like, no, 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 I just, I just wanted to, I just wanted to do a, a move, a special move. I can understand the confusion, but you are wrong, King. But yeah, no, this is very intriguing. I like it in concept. We'll see how much if I really like it later on. But I love that the more you collect throughout the game, the more it actually really uh, affects this specific battle. It's actually really, really cool. Again, this game does so much right. And so, so, so much wrong. <laughs> it is unbelievable. I have never, and I will keep saying it, never felt this way about a game like this. Where I, I am both in love and... I despise every second. <laughs> it is incredible. It is impressive that they have made a game that brings out such a visceral reaction. I haven't seen any dwarves. Um, I'm assuming they're, like, on the sideline somewhere. Yeah, they're over there, okay. Okay, good. Ah! It's on this, okay. Uh, Lucy, do you know what you could do? Heal us all! 
you could heal us all. Have you considered healing us all? Of course you have. Right, take them down now. So I need to kill four of them. There's another one. Oh, they're showing up. Give me a bow. Why can't they kill me? Just a moment. Just one will do. There we go, that'll do. Okay. I could choose my reinforcements. I still want to save them, because obviously a lot worse is about to come. So it's a case of making sure I've actually got stuff for the upcoming storm. Because it is clearly going to be like... I'm, assu <laughs> I'm assuming that the game won't pull some bullshit where if I don't have, like... A phoenix, then I just automatically lose. I'm assuming that the game won't do that, but I can't guarantee it because this game has done a lot of weird bullshit. So I am saving them for the final round, or what seems to be the final round, because I feel like I'm going to need them. I cannot trust this game. I know it's gonna, I know it's gonna do something. I just know it is. I can just see it. I can see there being like 20 ogres at the end. And it's like, oh, you don't have a bunch of arrows you can fling at it. That, that's too bad. That is, what a shame. Boo on you for not knowing. Absolutely your fault. Like, I can see the game doing that. Cool, they, they showed up out of nowhere, didn't they? They sure did. They sure did chase me to the ends of the earth. God, that's so... You know what? You know what? I've earned it. Take them all down. What is, what is the definition of an arrow barrage? That is the definition of an arrow barrage. I'll be honest, not great. It only cost two, admittedly, but it, it did not nothing, but it may as well have. Can you all, like, die? Woo! Okay! <laughs> Come on. I just want to shoot the people who's far away. Thank you very much. Heal us all. Thank you very much. Lucy so overpowered. I got one of them for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, I knew. I knew the, the I knew the tiny one was gonna get me. Of course it did. Okay. There's a lot of them. You know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do an arrow barrage. It does so little. It's so weak. It's exactly why I haven't used the Phoenix yet. Because it's like there's gonna be something. Bloody magical that shows up, isn't it? Okay. Love to see it. When they all start dying, oh, so good. I wish the game says final wave when it is the final wave. I know it is absolutely not going to, but it would be nice if it did. Yeah, I do not know what like the, the deal is, like what causes me to sometimes get a, uh, a thing or not. Oh, okay, that's nice. 
I say that's nice, and it is, but like, there's still a bunch of them on the field. Ah, ah, ah. Get away from the action and heal. Excellent news. Thank you very much. Yeah, that heals 100% of health now. That is super powerful. Like, I'm really trying my best to take you out. Let's go. You're like right over there, so we just need to hit you. Easy said and done. But, you know, much, much easier said and done. I'm gonna assume it's not gonna. Like it's not gonna hit them. Does it actually go for the enemies? No. Or waste. Okay, cool. Glad I did it. Thank you, game. Pretty cool. Oh boy. It's gonna be a moment. There's gonna be a lot coming now. We're not done. Oh boy, we're not done. So I'm guessing the Phoenix move is gonna be like you will just die in in a second. <laughs> Kind of thing, like every, like the whole battlefield just gets burned, which I'm I'm all right with. Okay, well, given that I've got six out of seven, it feels like we must be approaching the end, right? 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 No, maybe. Oh, I'm close to death. Have you considered healing me? Thank you very much, Lucy. Okay, this is good. I feel like the next wave is going to be the last one. I guess it depends on what we're looking at. It's hard to tell if it's the last one or not. Maybe the next one after this will be. Oh my god! Kill him. Okay, just wipe them out, okay? Oh, you did not wipe them out, okay, great. Thank you very much for that. That did not do what I needed you to. I like how after a certain point, enemies just stop dropping health. So it's just like, yeah, no, you, you're utilizing Lucy now. And only Lucy. You know what, that's fair enough. I mildly respect it. Not completely, just mildly. Yeah, I think I think if the if this isn't the final wave, the next one will be. I'm not using my Phoenix yet. Because I know what's going to happen. I'm going to waste it. I don't want to waste it. I need to use it properly. Oh! Oh no, that was it! Oh! Get out of here! Get the girls! I 
That was actually a really cool level. I actually quite liked that. That was fun. You can have fun, game. You know what it is. You have experienced it in the past. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay, I want to quickly go back into the level and see what the Phoenix does because I'm curious. Um... So, what I'll do is I'll speed up, I'll make a cheeky- yeah, the White Witch! Oh, it's the final level, oh my gosh. Uh, I'll make a cheeky save. Um, we'll head on in. Um, I mean, I may as well just do Free the Phoenix. Um, and then see- see what this does, because I need to know. Um, enemies are on the battlefield. Phoenix Strike, go! Wow. We should be dead, okay? <laughs> We sure should be. Yeah, that's pretty much what I thought was going to happen. Alright. Well. Let's do it. Let's go. The White Witch. Let's finish this thing. What are we up against? I mean, the White Witch. We've, uh... We've, we've been seeing her for the whole game. Not much. Oh, oh god, not much. <laughs> but, but we've been seeing... She, she, like, in this game, I'd say we've seen her for... And this might be being generous, a minute and a half of screen time. <laughs> in the film, uh, up until this point, I'd say a good half hour. Like, she's in it a lot. <laughs> and she's absolutely phenomenal in the film. I really love her. Great villain. Oh, oh boy, here we go. Excellent, let's do it. All right, this this should be interesting. I do not know how this fight's gonna go down. Ow! Well, I uh yeah, this 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 will it will be interesting. I'm clearly gonna have to utilize this to some extent. Oh, five, five what? Oh, it's like I can only hit you with a. Oh, oh, interesting. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, oh, this is kind of cool. Okay. Oh, that's an interesting idea for how this works. Okay, what did I get as an ability? Uh, Sunfire increases the refill speed. God, yes. 100% that. Um, okay, Edmund. I mean, I'm not going to be able to buy anything else if I have got anything else. I'm going to immediately assume that Susan has nothing more because she hasn't got anything for ages. She sure hasn't. All right, cool. Yeah, so far, this is actually an interesting battle. Like, it, it's different, that's for sure. I appreciate it. So, take out the two ogres, then I can take her out, I guess. Okay. I'll get behind that. And I've also got, you know, these to, to deal with it. So, that's fine. Yeah. This is, this is cool. I can get behind this. Alright, let's take out the fun man. Okay, let's get hit by boulders. It's very funny. Okay, loose, 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 loose. Do you know what? I can't move. I literally. I was gonna say she literally cannot move. Okay, well I'm. Why are we? Why are we stunned all of a sudden? I don't know. It's not good though. Thank God for that. Okay, that went mostly badly, but I'll take it, I guess. Are you, are you having fun over there? It doesn't sound like you are. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. There is an, an awful lot happening. I haven't hurt the fun men at once. That's fun, isn't it? I like how she's just not doing anything. <laughs> but yeah, she's uh, she's she's gonna be up there just admiring, just admiring, really. Okay, so what am I doing wrong? I'm pretty sure I've hit the fun people with uh, with. Uh, huge of wood before. 
Am I doing something wrong with it? That time I was, but that's another hit on there. Okay. It's on fire, as am I. Um, Yeah, I gotta, gotta do something. Sure do. Sure do. I like how I continuously miss. It's part of my charm. But it does feel like the others are gone now. Which is good. Right? Is that true? I don't know. That, yay, that did do some damage. Not a lot, but it did some. So would I seriously just not hit it at all? Oh my god, like, am I just really that bad at hitting them? I mean, to be fair, it doesn't help that this thing is absolute garbage to control. And also the camera doesn't move. And also there's a thousand reasons why it's bad. <laughs> Can it respawn, please? Because it was very good at it. In that exact position. No, you move. You're not supposed to move. There we go. Okay, half of that. Yeah, so as long as it's in the fire, it's not really... Oh, God damn it. And I think as long as I'm off screen, it respawns, if I'm understanding correctly. Good. Good stuff. I love it. I love this game. So good. So well made. Really? Really that missed you? Really? Alright. Alright. Yes, one down. Good. I'm so glad that missed somehow. Somehow is the correct word, yes. Dead? No? Cool. Will be in one second. Give me a sec. Go off screen, it's back. Go. No, you moved. You moved them too far away. No. I, I, I ran down my family. It was worth it to kill the fun man. No! Why did you go that way? Good. Okay. Oh boy. Alright. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'm trying to switch to the right person. Heal us all. Let's go. Let's see how interesting this is. Okay. See, I, li I like the concept of you need to get a five-hit combo. That's fun. And then you need to shoot her with arrows. And then you need to use him. And then... And then, yeah, fights. Oh damn. Oh damn. Oh damn! Fire. Oh okay. Hit, hit her with lots of fire. Got it. Uh, I know it didn't look like it, but I am trying. I swear. No! Oh also, I guess this was supposed to be like an emotional moment because I've almost been stabbed. Oh, we've reset, have we? Cool, alright. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, it wasn't- I did- I was trying. It's just, it's very hard to hit you. Wait, is she dead? Oh, for God's sake, heal her. Like, I hate that it won't just switch to her! God damn switch! Okay. It's fine, it's fine. I'm not angry gonna have a fun final boss. This is probably the best boss of the game so far, I think. So, you know, that's something, I guess. Yeah! Fire! You love to see it!
I am really trying to get a 5 hit combo on you. Yes, thank god for that, okay. I did do it, right? Because I was really, really trying. Are they both dead? Or is it just... Uh, yeah, no, no, they're both dead. They're both super dead. Well, they're certainly down. Did that not actually get the 5 hit combo? Did it, did it get undone? Because if it did, god damn. Uh, I am trying so hard to win this. You have no idea. It is crazy that like they can just suddenly die. Two hits, two hits, two hits. Okay, great. Yeah, I think I think it did get undone. I think it didn't count, which is bollocks if that's the case, but whatever. Hitting her with fire was surprisingly difficult. And it continues to be. Yep, yep, no, that's like, yeah, that's what I thought was going to happen. Alright. Okay, yeah, no, you can, you can die. No, why do you not switch to her sometimes? God damn. It's not a new thing, but it's annoying. Oh, did I not get her? Oh, I did. Good. I can't move, it's very funny. Okay. Yeah, this boss was good. It was briefly good and interesting, and then it, it much like everything else in this game, became too much. Is she down? For God's sake. Yay! Goody! Okay. Yes. Okay. Go. 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 Yes! 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 I've done things! Yes! Yes! Okay. That's good, right? I've got to do it again, though, because it wasn't good enough. But, but, yeah, it's, it's good. Yeah, you sure do have to do it again, and there will be more enemies this time, so you better be ready. I was really hoping she would just be in the way magically. That, was, that would have been nice. Oh, really? Really? The pathetic little ones are stopping me from achieving destiny? Alright then. I'm really glad that you can bring people back so easily. You still have time to bring back your brother, but not if he's dead for a millennia. Okay, this is good, this is good, this is good, this is good, this is good. Right. Yeah, you can, you can die. You can die, because I know what's going to happen, you're going to ruin everything. No! No! <laughs> hit it. Hit it. No! Why did it go the other way? I hit it for the left! No! Oh, this game! God, I just want it to end. I just want this game to be fucking over! I know that's not a nice thing to say, but oh, I'm hating every second right now. Please, god damn, let it end. It's some weird bullshit torture. Yes, go. Yes, yes, oh my god, yes. 
Right, I know what I need to do, but I need to get away from all of you. I pressed the wrong button. Oh! Don't you fucking dare! If you goddamn kill me now, I swear to fucking Christ. What is actually insta-killing us? Like, genuine legit question. What is doing it? Because I can't actually tell. And I just want this goddamn fight to end. WHAT IS KILLING ME?! YES! 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 It was very abrupt. <laughs> it wasn't the film, to be fair. It was super abrupt. Queen Lucy, the Valiant. King Edmund, the Just. Queen Susan, the Gentle. King Peter, the Magnificent. May your wisdom grace us until the stars rain down from the heavens. Long live King Peter. Long live King Edmund. Long live Queen Susan. Long live Queen Lucy. Is... I presume there's going to be another cutscene after this, because that kind of just ends abruptly, if not. I'd be surprised. Oh, that fight was something, alright. I, I will save, I will, I will do a nice little cheeky save. It's nice, they good, good for them, they, uh, you know, they became rulers of the land. No, they're really not doing another cutscene! Really? That is surprising. Um, okay. So I guess, footnote there at the end. Um, they, uh, they live in Narnia for like 15 to 20 years, I think. Uh, and they're old. And then they find the place they came into Narnia and exit the wardrobe, and they're kids again. They're, ki they're, they're like 9 to 15 years old, but with the mind of someone who's lived for like 25 to 30 years. So it's, it's quite weird, I guess. Um, so, but yeah, that's... Uh, but yeah, uh, I mentioned that the, the healing bottle is very powerful. Um, uh, it sure is. Um, because... The, uh, the healing bottle has barely drained when you see it in the second film. And, and they've been alive for 15, 20 years, so they've either never used it, or that, that bottle was just re keeps replenishing. It's very impressive. Also, did they actually, in a cutscene, did they actually bring Edmund back to life? I don't think they did. We saw him. But they didn't show it. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Well, thoughts on this game. I've kind of laid my my soul out on the table with each passing level, but uh, let me let me give me a quick rundown. I love elements of this game, but I hate other parts more than I've hated anything else in the entire fucking world. And I know that seems like an overreaction given how many horrible atrocities there are in the world, but dear fucking lord, this game is bullshit. Like, and it's, it's interesting, because like, a game like, say, Dark Souls, or I Want to Be the Guy, or something of that ilk, is supposed to be rage-inducing, but I don't feel that in the way that I did with this game, and I can't 
pinpoint why? I think it's that this is supposed to be like, oh, it's a kid's a happy time, blah, blah, blah. But like, I don't know. It, it, it just did things to my soul that just made me so, 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 so angry. And I think it's because I have all the means to be able to win the game, but the game just sort of doesn't let you use them. Or it throws so much at you that it's just so unbelievably overbearing and it's just i don't know it is it's crazy how angry it made me like it shouldn't have but i have not felt this angry in like 10 plus years like it is crazy crazy but like once i'm once i'm in a cutscene the rage subsides and it's whatever i don't give a fuck anymore but it's just like so, so weird, but that's what it does to me. And yeah, it puts us back to the first level. Yes, there really is no, like, epilogue cutscene. That is a choice. That sure is a choice. All right. All right, well, uh, next time. So what, what, do we, uh, what do we unlock? So I'm not going to look at all of these. I'm going to look at a couple of them. I want to see Lucy's because Lucy was the best actress. So, let's, let's, let's go with that. Oh! One character. R1. Oh, no! We have a gone! He's changed to Lucy! <laughs> don't, please tell me she was playing just the first level. <laughs> like, don't, Whoa. don't let her play the later Whoa. ones. I like that sound, like, huh, uh, huh, uh. You're... <laughs> Susan, use your horn, Susan, use your horn to summon Aslan. Susan, use your horn to summon Aslan. Susan, use your horn to summon Aslan. Susan, try playing the snowball! This is really cool, man. <laughs> Find a wolf, kill it. Find a wolf, kill it. <laughs> kill everything. And no find Mr. Beaver, no! I don't want to kill Mr. Beaver. <laughs> I love it. How are you, Lucy? Oh, she's got the ability to Beaver mount the wolf, fine. good. Oh, is that the aim? You won, yeah. What do you think your friends oh, are going to say when they see you? That was very strong vibration. That was, yeah, impressive. That was, that was neat. That was cute. I like that. Okay, making the nannies. This is making making the video game. You you guys. You who who who. The renowned and beloved book by C.S. Lewis, The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, has evolved. Mm, debatable. <laughs> 100. Ready or not, here I come. The film, yes. Susan, Game. Lucy, mm. Peter, Aslan the Lion, the Wicked White Witch. The, the White Witch, she shows up very Narnia. briefly. These are characters and places that have loomed large in the imaginations of children around the world for more than half a century. They are the stars of one of the greatest series of books in children's literature, The Chronicles of Narnia. The Chronicles of Narnia are classic novels, and now The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe has been made into a blockbuster movie and video game. A new generation of children will be experiencing for themselves the magic of Narnia. On the first morning, the children decided to explore the big house. It was full of interesting things and unexpected places. One room had a suit of armor in it. Another, all hung with green, had a harp in the corner. And one room was quite empty, except for a big wardrobe with a looking glass in the door. Chronicles of Narnia have been phenomenally successful ever since the first publication of The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe way back in 1950. Um, they've progressively sold more and more copies right around the world in about 30 languages. I think they're up to somewhere close to 90 million copies worldwide. Wow. The Chronicles Crazy. of Narnia. I mean, that was also the back the then, English before author, the film launched. A tutor at that Oxford would have University sold and a good so many J. countless Tolkien, more after the film. Wow. The Rings, Lewis gestated on the ideas that he would Amazing. later incorporate into his masterwork for many years. But it was not until 1950, when he was 52, that the first book in the series was published. Well, funnily enough, my stepfather C.S. Lewis had the nickname of Jack uh, from when he was a very small child. And when Jack was about 16 years old, one day there popped into his head the image of a fawn in a snowy wood with a whole bunch of parcels and an umbrella. And um, it made some kind of impression on him, but he never did anything with it until many, many years later when he was about 50. And he decided he would try to make a story out of that image. 
and began to work on it. And at the time, he was having nightmares about lions, one particular huge lion in, in, in particular. So he then found that the lion leapt into the story and dragged the rest of the story with him. And that was really the origin of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Narnia came into my life, obviously, as a child. It was one of the first books that I really got into. And as a teacher, it's one of the classics that one feels obliged to deliver to children. The film The Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe has been a very, very long time in gestation. Uh, I suppose I've been dreaming about it, scheming it, talking about it for the better part of my adult life. Uh, my, my sons, my children, they remember me all of their lives, dreaming, scheming, and talking about making a movie of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. But it's also, of course, noteworthy that the technology has not existed to make a movie of it doing the book justice until very recently. But it's not just the movie that yeah, will bring fair. the world of Narnia to life this winter. I didn't a new multi-million dollar video game developed like in conjunction with the movie way, for the yeah. first time allows children to create their own adventures in the world of Narnia. Moving from the movie, which is a well-known accepted medium nowadays, into the video game area, is a great, it's an uplifting experience in some ways because every child throughout the history of the book has longed to be able to go to Narnia. I don't really think that anybody uh, amongst the general public has any idea of the background of what goes into making a movie to start with. But if you take then the making of a game from the movie, it's almost, it's probably more complex in a sense, converting the movie into a game than converting the book into a movie. Los Angeles 2005, home to the greatest computer show on earth, E3. Ensuring that the video game joined seamlessly with the movie was the job of Andrew Adamson, the director of Shrek and Shrek 2, and now the director of the first Chronicles of Narnia movie. There's a very specific look to the world of Narnia, which I think is an original world that people haven't seen before. And we really wanted to make sure, in partnership, that the game had that look as well. Before we even started shooting the film, we were having discussions about how to integrate the film aspects into the game and vice versa. There's a lot of things that have been very important to me in the movie as far as the, the design, the use of colour throughout the movie, and I want to make sure that all of those same aspects were incorporated in the game. Basically, a very important part of the film is the world of Narnia. Cheshire, England, home of game developer Traveller's Tales. Here, the film was adapted into an interactive action adventure. I think this will mean a lot to the Nanny fans. I think, you know, it's the second biggest selling book behind Harry Potter. When the opportunity came up to do Chronicles of Narnia, I was thrilled. I'd, I'd been a great fan of the book since I was, I was pretty young. I read it when I was seven or eight, and, uh, and the tales really captivated me. It's my job basically to take the game through from uh, conception through to final gold master. The biggest challenges we've got is obviously we're going uh, day and date with the film. Uh, is making sure that the game that we produce uh, mimics the film that, 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 uh, that's going to get released. It is a big in the, challenge. The first few, um, few days of filming, elements, we, we you had nailed handy it. shots and of locations and things not. like that, So, which was fine for our level builders. We could kind of go out, build the sets that, that Disney were filming on. My name is Jonathan Shara. I am a level artist, and I create the scenery, um, various scenes from the movie. In the feature-length movie, uh, many of the backgrounds are completely computer-generated, and some of them are detailed, full-size set pieces. To start the uh, level building process, we're first given these images uh, by Disney along with the detailed blueprints which are all surrounded by trees and growth etc. From tracing over the blueprints I can loft very simple shapes from these spines, go to a lofting of the surface and you will see it fill itself in with a very simple shape here. I can now go into this shape and I can manipulate it further. Over a series of hours this will come closer to uh, looking like one of the houses from the Allies Enclave. This is so really cool. apply a rock texture so now we look like we have a, a stone wall eventually after a series of hours it looks a little more like this depending on the complexity and the size of the level uh, the scenery can take anything from a couple of weeks to a couple of months when we think that the scenery looks as accurate and as close to the movie we're pleased with what we've got
The team at yeah, Traveller's Tales really cool. faced huge challenges that. in accurately adapting the movie into the game. Seeing this kind of thing well, is the animation super, in the game cool. was something that's always one of the most important aspects of any game development because if the characters don't move naturally, it's the first thing the player notices. We receive uh, photographs of every maquette that's made of every creature, which is our first point of reference room. We can then give that to our model guys and they can start to, to build the creatures. I'm Anthony Whiteley and I'm lead animator on the Narnia project. Uh, well, basically, an animator rotates the joints in a skeleton to emulate the way a person or an animal would actually move, uh, which we do by drawing bones which you can draw them anywhere. They can be in the character here, for instance. You can rotate them around here. So these bones, just like the bone in your arm, rotate around each other. Then once, once you've actually got that, basically you go through a process of uh, tweaking and moving these things around until you um, end up with something which looks like the animation you're after of, say, in this case, a centaur patrolling the perimeter of Aslan's camp. <laughs> what was that cinematic shot? And a lot of work in is putting the creatures into the game. So one of the first processes we go through is we have to lay out for the creatures pathways so that they know where to go. So for example, I can start laying out a path to bring the creatures round into the level. This describes how the creature can move around the level. I'm going to add into the game a minotaur. So now he knows how to move through the level. Yep. He's in the level. I hate them. Like, and I'm going to add 10 more minotaurs. No, no, that wasn't enough. 30. Should stay back. Throughout the game, short animated movie clips called cutscenes help tell the story. I'm uh, Bill Martin, the lead cutscene animator on Narnia. Well, to the game as a whole, the cutscenes, um, apart from explaining to the player where they are and what's coming up in the game, they um, expand the whole experience, I think. They, they give you a taste more of a film and uh, make, give you a richer experience for when you're playing the game. Well, we start off with a level design document that outlines everything that's needed in each level. And within that, we're told what cutscenes are needed. Uh, from that, Disney supplies us with a storyboard, which gives an outline of the general timing and the cuts and what characters are in there. So we uh, take the game level into the computer and place the characters and the cameras in there, cut it together so we've got a rough timing so we know it's working okay. In this cutscene, Edmund's being captured by the baddies. The centaurs are coming to, to rescue him. When the scene's been blocked out and uh, all the camera cuts are in, then we hand over to the sound guy who will put in a uh, placeholder track with voices. My name is David Whitaker, and I'm the main audio guy at uh, Traveller's Tales. When I get given a scene, say a cutscene, I have to splice a pre recorded music to fit the length of the cutscene, then I uh, create sound effects for specific actions like footsteps or explosions. In this cutscene we need a sword swipe, um, so I will grab several of uh, my CD archives and I would audition them. I would place it on the timeline in relation to where the switch needs to be. So the guy's going to swipe his sword. Huh? Who's there? Peter? Shh! I've come to get you out! Hurry! Oh, what have we here? My name is Mike Jacob, and I'm the executive producer for Buena Vista Games. The gameplay itself is, is really, I think, inspired in a lot of ways. And kind of the cornerstones that we really settled on were cooperation, collaboration, creatures, and of course, combat. One of the great design ideas oh, was really to be able to team the kids up, and you can actually link them together. So when their when their power meter gets up to the top, you can actually run any of the two children up next to each other. Each of them connect up in different ways, and we leave it up to the player to choose how to link the kids up and when to link them up and how they want to use them. For instance, Peter might link up with Edmund, and they actually do this great spinning move that's kind of reminiscent of a giant whirlwind. And as they're flying and flying around, they'll be able to take on creatures in combat. They can blast their way through objects or obstacles that might be too hard for them to do individually. If you want to sort of beat them up and jam through the game and just sort of attack your way, it works for you. But if you also want to maybe be a little more stealthy, a little more creative, we give you all the player all those tools to be able to do that. The game really offers 
anybody of any skill set or even gaming style to be able to succeed and have a great time and make the game their best experience. For instance, Lucy, if she does a perfect attack against an enemy, she can jump up on the back of that enemy and then give the player the ability to control and sort of be all of these different creatures that we're creating throughout the world. It's just quite amazing, really. It's staggering the amount of work and animation that has to be done to pull all of this together. For 18 months, the team at Traveller's Tales have been working on bringing this game to life. And the numbers of, of man-hours involved in this are just absolutely staggering. I don't think anybody has any idea. They sit down in front of a computer and they play the game, they go, wow. In our case, they go, oh, wow. Uh, but they don't know the millions of hours that are spent in the complex procedures of translating it from images on the screen doing their own thing to images on the screen that you can control. Now with the new video games and the computer games, the children can actually not only get into Narnia, but they can control what their protagonist, what their particular character does in Narnia. So in a sense, they invent their own adventure. For me personally, it's a great honor really to work on a game of such size. I mean, the general feeling within the group is it's going to be, the film's going to be huge. You know, and to, to be a part of, of making a game for something that is going to be uh, so big is, is a great honour. Really. It's really exciting to be involved with, with the Chronicles of Narnia, to, to work with the director, to work uh, with the property, to, to meet Douglas and, and, and all the people involved with the, with the story, and to be part of, of that, that whole legend. It's, it's, it's a pinnacle, really, in, in my career in the games industry. Now, with the advent of these computer and video games that we're producing, taking off from the movie, people all over the world will, for the first time, without a wardrobe, be able to go to Narnia. That was really cool. I really like stuff like that, because the thing is, making games is so difficult. And, you know, I've, I've not had the best experience with this. But, like, that was, that was really fun to just see, like, you know, the, the whole, yeah. I want to see. I want to see the Battle March demo. I want to see. I want to see what, what they did. I want to see this, and then uh, then we'll call it quits. It's a lot of people. Oh, interesting. So they're two D spies, right? That makes sense. That's pretty neat. Yeah, and you can probably set it up so like the camera angle is done so that you can't see an area where there aren't necessarily some of them. Okay, that went a lot quicker than I was expecting. All right, fine. We'll look at the storyboards as well. Um, but yeah, that was I wasn't expecting that to just be five seconds of that. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this is it's it's very cool. I like this kind of thing. Okay, so this is oh, okay. This is kind of cool. Yeah, you get to see like the storyboards of how they they planned out the cutscenes and whatnot. That's fun. Yeah, like, I I wanted to love this game, and, and elements of it I really do love. Like, I think the combat is good, generally speaking. I think some of the levels are really fun. I think the the way it shifts from movie scene to cutscene is inspired. Like, that's so, so funny. Um, and it's absolutely brilliant. Um, but yeah, it just... There's a lot of things that the game didn't do right, and it's such a shame that that is the case. But I can't, un I can't like change that. That that is what it is. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's it's been, it's been mostly fun. Uh, obviously, there's been bits which have not been fun, but there's, there's been mostly fun. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for uh, for recommending it. I I. Like, I, I'm glad I played it. I'm genuinely very glad I played it. It is, a, uh, It is an interesting game for sure. Um, and yeah, there's obviously other stuff you can unlock. You got another level! <laughs> oh no! Don't wanna. Um, the bonus levels are not the best. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's been cool. I have, I have enjoyed its existence. And I think it's been, it's been an experience that I'm, I'm glad I did. Um, but now I can move on and be in an ocean of calm, so that's nice. So thank you very much for watching, I will see you next time!